disturbance at Acer Plaza? 10-foot dispatcher, verify address. It's Acer Plaza, repeat, Acer Plaza. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress at Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. Shot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex? We're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns, the sounds of children playing, a house across the river on the Jersey side, a beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. But they'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. What the hell?
What the hell? Michelle! No! 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 It's coming. Freeze! Stand. NYPD, drop it's it! Coming. No. No, no, please, God, no. No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover infiltrated the worst Mafia family in New York. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face-to-face -face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. The gate was locked. Alex wouldn't have set up a meeting at a closed station. Something was off.
Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. It's a good no. ah! You saved me, man. What's going on here? Ah! The pressure was too much. I had sunk down to their level. It wasn't worth it. Nothing was. gate was locked. Alex wouldn't have set up a meeting at a closed station. Something was off.
Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Say goodbye. No, hey. Go to hell. You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Find another way to get to the tunnel. Hey, where are you? 
you going? The control room's up the stairs. Home free. This way. Yo, look out!
The power to the rail had been cut. I'd have to get it back on to get the train moving. would hold the pain back for a while.
like a Christmas tree. The power was back on. The door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down at Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was going to find out.
What the hell? Like Lapino. Now that's spooky. Jack Lapino. Yeah, spooky. But also, it's like. <laughs> Done here. Give me the detonator. What are you talking about? The detonator. I thought you'd there. The door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. Okay, fellas, the police are on their way. New York's finest, they're gonna be here soon. So stick to the plan. We've got our own private exit route. In and out, do your thing. Bam, bam, thank you, man.
the bank robber's score lay on the table. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit.
The bank robbers had been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. You almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, I'm glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why? This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes.
Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Painted a max. You're killing me. Did you make that up yourselves, you get some wine out downstairs and come up with it. Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plant. The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he says bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. Lupino. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. A letter on the desk caught my eye. Bosses. I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnini. Gagnini was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up, but you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Soze, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Hey, bosses, Joey, Vigilio, you right in there? They're not answering. Call the others. Tell them to come quick. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now. Bosses, we're coming in. There he is.
Yeah, something's wrong with the bosses. Pain's there and they're not answering. Let's go already. Pain's gonna pay in spades. Previously on Lords and Ladies. Lady Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, an all-new episode of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. My lady. My lord. My lady, there is a matter of great importance I must bring to your attention. My lord, there is? Indeed, my lady, there is indeed. From the very first moment we met, upon that distant forest path, there has been what sunlight the? in the autumn that is blazing like the colors of your hair. Oh, my lord, you should not speak so. But, my lady, I must, I must. My lord, no, I forbid you, this cannot be, this must not be. But why, my love, why? My lord, it is too dreadful, do not force me to speak the words. My lady, I beg of you, I must know, I would rather die than not know. Yes, my lord, we should both be dead, for this shame is too great for the living. My lord, I am... My lord, I am your long-lost sister. <laughs> V-head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful.
that. <laughs> oh, careful. It might... against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound. I found Muerte's room. Muerte had received a letter. Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. And we need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it.
A letter on the desk caught my eye. I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnidi. Gagnidi was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security. Locked doors, lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Sosa. A spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Bosses! Everything all right? Bosses! Joey! Vigilio! You all right in there? They're not answering. Call the others. Tell them to come quick. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now! Bosses! We're coming in! Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. and ladies. Lady Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, an all-new episode of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. My lady. My lord. My lady, there is a matter of great importance I must bring to your attention. My lord, there is? Indeed, my lady, there is indeed. From the very first moment... V-head junkies could go off without a warning. They had to be careful. Oh, my lord. 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 Oh, my
my lord, you should not speak so. But, my lady, I must, I must. My lord, no, I forbid you. This cannot be, this must not be. But why, my love, why? My lord, it is too dreadful. Do not force me to speak there he is. words. My lady, I beg you, I I would not know. Yes, my lord, you should not be dead, for this shame is too great for the living. My lord, I am... My lord, I am your long-lost sister. Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse, as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound. I found Muerte's room. Muerte had received a letter. I 
investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Val Kier. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. on the desk caught my eye. Bosses! Everything all right? Bosses! Joey! Vigilium! I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagniti. Gagniti was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V-deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. The V-deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Soze, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. They're not answering. Call the others. Tell them to come quick. Okay, but we can't...
We're coming in. There he is. Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more.
Previously on Lords and Ladies. Lady Amelia, Monkey Valentine asks for an audience. Piece of crap! <laughs> oh, careful! Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse, as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound. Thank you. 
V-head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. I found Muerte's room. Muerte had received a letter. Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. And we need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it.
I didn't want to know what had happened here. It was not a pretty sight. A bomb for sure. Nah, the Russian wouldn't dare. This has been waiting to happen. <laughs> I thought it was a bomb. had left her diary on the table. A 
The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lapino's hotel. It was freaking crazy. The cops were doing a full-scale siege next door. More traffic than rush hour. I mean, bleeding. Whack the sucker! Winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area, as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed, and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now, with no end in sight. We've been snowed from the start in the Valkyrie case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire.
Exhibit number one, a newspaper. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip.
watch it with the guns. Trust me, you don't want to piss Muerte off. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Tears of green-eyed angels. Amen. Time ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. There is a key on the table. Two mad dog killers, ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. <clears throat> but no. They sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with a kung fu fighting video game. I tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm, mm. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun.
A winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area, as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed, and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now, with no end in sight. We've been snowed from the start in the Valkyr case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. Exhibit number one, a newspaper. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip. Trust me, you don't want to piss me where 
gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Cheers and green-eyed angels. Amen. A lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. There was a key on the table. It was dirty money. Transparent cylinders glowed green, full of Valkyr. Dog killers, ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. <clears throat> but no. They sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with a kung fu fighting video game. I tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am. Mm, mm. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun.
The antique switchboard was still in use. There was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area, the kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines, the blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss, I couldn't hear you. This makes pain. The game started capitalist. You killed Are you freaking kidding me? It's just one lousy cop. You better be freaking kidding me. Whack him. What's the freaking problem? Hello? Answer me. Hello? The word was out. A deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. Thank you.